this video is going to introduce an important concept called scientific notation. Scientific notation is generally written as some number times 10 to some exponent. Now that front number, the a, is always between 1 and 10. It, actually, it'll never be equal to 10, but it might be 9.99999. What, what's important is the decimal is right after the first digit. The decimal after the first digit. Then b is an exponent on 10. Multiplying by 10 moves the decimal one place, which means b, the number of times we multiply by 10, is the number of times the decimal moves. Now, it could move either left or right, representing either a big or a small number. If that b is a positive number, it means we are dealing with a big standard number. Big means the number's bigger than 10. It might be something like 18 million. That's a big standard number. In scientific notation, it's going to have a positive exponent. And as you might expect, then, a negative exponent on 10 would be a small standard number. And by small, I mean really close to 0, smaller than 1, maybe 0 0.000028. That's pretty small. It's going to have a negative exponent. So when we look at something like 5.23 times 10 to the 5th, the exponent of 5 tells us we need to move the decimal 5 times. We also notice that because the 5 is positive, our final result should be a big number. So as we move that decimal point 5 times, we'll make the number bigger by moving to the right 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. In those extra spaces, we'll stick some zeros, and we get 5, 2, 3, with three zeros at the end, or 523,000. Similarly, in example 2, when we have 4.25 times 10 to the negative 4th, we see the decimal needs to move 4 places. Because it's a negative exponent, as we move the decimal, it should become a smaller and smaller number. This means we're moving to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4 times which means after the decimal point, there are three zeros, and then the 4, 2, 5, giving us our small number. We can also work the opposite way and convert 81,500,000 into scientific notation. The decimal point must go after the first digit, which means we have 8.15. And then times 10, where the exponent tells us how many times the decimal had to move. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times. And because that standard notation number was big, 81.5 million is rather large, that's a positive exponent. So 8.15 times 10 to the 7th. Similarly, when we have 0 .0000245 that needs to be in scientific notation, the decimal point needs to go after the first significant digit, giving us 2.45 times 10, and then the exponent moves 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. And because we're dealing with a small number, much smaller than 1, that exponent needs to be negative. 2.45 times 10 to the negative 5th is how we would represent this number in scientific notation.